I'm Debbie Peverell and you're listening to the weekly tip from Payless Financial Training Group. Today I'm talking about medical expenses and the reason I'm talking about that is that it's April and in April I get asked a lot from people, you know, is there anything else I could deduct? Um, you know, many people are surprised by how much income tax they owe, so they're hoping there is some way to reduce that payment. So the first thing that I usually ask them is, you know, whether they claimed all their medical expenses. And the reason I start with that is because people don't tend to understand the way that system works. So there's a few things that get overlooked. One of them is premiums. If you are making payments, say, to Blue Cross or Great West Life for medical or dental payments, then that is included in your medical expenses. If you are an employee, then this amount is on box 85 of your T4. If you pay for it yourself, then you would have to ask for a list of those premiums so that you can put it on your tax return. And life insurance doesn't count. We're just talking medical and dental. The other thing that's overlooked is travel. If you have to travel outside of your normal area in order to get medical treatment or to get tests, then if it is more than 40 kilometers one way, you can claim kilometers at 55 cents a kilometer. If it's more than 80 kilometers one way, then in addition to the kilometers, you can also make claims for lodging and meals. If you're going to do that, of course, you need to have good receipts. So you should be paying for hotels and meals, parking, all that kind of thing with a debit card or a credit card so that you've got some proof of what you're doing. So premiums, travel, What I would suggest that you do is think about all the medical services you received during the year and gather up those receipts and take them all to your tax preparer and they'll know what to do.